Good evening guys. I wanted to show you what I do for my portable setup for ham radio. I use the Elecraft KX3 and a uh, nice little radio. It's got a few of the features on it. Uh, max power is 15 watts if you're putting in voltage from the external port. Uh, I think you've got to put 11 to 12 volts to get 15 watts out. I do have the battery pack in it. It's, it'll take eight double A's. Uh, rechargeables or you can put alkaline but you can of course charge them recharge them through here I have the little uh, rechargeable uh, the battery charger uh, in here so it will charge those batteries uh, but I don't use that for three reasons now I have used it it works great I have rechargeable batteries I can use it uh, but I typically don't for three reasons one reason is because this is a clamshell and when you take it apart, that's, that's how you put the batteries in. You take it apart. Well, look at that little ribbon right in the middle, the little brown ribbon. I don't like flexing that over and over and over. So anytime you take the batteries out, put them in, all of that, um, you're having to flex that. Yes, I can leave batteries in there, but that leads to point number two. The other reason I don't, how many times have you um, taken your remote, the little battery cover off your remote and there's corrosion in there. Well for that reason, I don't like leaving those batteries in here for extended periods of time. I know it takes a while, it takes a pretty good while to, for that corrosion to leak out, but it can happen and uh, so that leads back to point number one. I have to take the batteries in and out, in and out, in and out. Stress that ribbon more and more and more. So that's the second reason. The third reason is because this radio will not put out full power with eight double A's in it. Uh, it just, there's just not enough juice for it to. So it doesn't. So those are my three reasons why I choose to have another battery, another power solution. So I wanted to show you my power solution. Uh, I purchased PowerFilm 21 watt uh, solar panel. I like this one because it's rollable and because it's a plastic material. This can get wet, it can get dirty, you wash it off, roll it up, and go away. It doesn't gain weight because it's gotten wet. Shake the water off and go on. There are foldable ones that would pack a whole lot neater in a, in a pack, uh, but if they get wet, you have to let them dry out. They gain weight when they get wet. Uh, they get dirty. Uh, usually those foldable ones have a canvas or a denim backing, and so uh, those are the problems with it. I don't like that part of it. I think they are cheaper. I know they're about the same weight, maybe even slightly lighter weight, uh, but those are the reasons why I chose this one. Uh, just to show you, this thing is pretty big. I can't even get it full frame. So uh, it's pretty large, but uh, it needs a little bit of space when you roll it out but uh, it's not too heavy, uh, a little over a pound, something like that. Pound and a half max, I don't even think it's that much. So, rolls up nice and neat. This Velcro stays attached. There you go. Uh, now, it uses a Delphi connector. I don't have any that anywhere else. So, here's the cable that came with it. Had ring terminals on the end. I changed it to power poles because the Elecraft came with a power pole adapter. Plug in, you've got power poles. Um, and uh, all, a lot of my other stuff has power poles. So I converted this to power poles. So with my setup, I also have the lithium battery, which I bought from Buddy Pole. You can purchase the A123 cells and make this yourself, no problem, and it'll be cheaper. But this came with the cable with the power poles already, protection circuit already. I figured they're doing a little bit of work for me, They've got the protection circuit. I'm going to go ahead and pay a little bit more, get it done with them, and uh, that's it. So um, I've got the solar, I've got the battery. I also bought the battery charger. I figured I'm getting the other items from Buddy Pole. I'll just go ahead and get the uh, solar battery charger. So this little guy goes in line, but what if I want to operate the radio at the same time? I made this little Y adapter. So this little guy you plug in your solar panel on one side, your, this cable on the battery side, and then one end goes to the radio and the other end goes to the battery. 
and that'll run the radio. Uh, and then one other piece of equipment is the charger. So yes, this will charge off the solar panel and the battery charger, but you don't want to do that for extended periods of time. You want to use a regular charger. Uh, this is a RC car charger. Again, I bought it from Buddy Pole. Again, it's because of what they did extra. You can go buy this for, I don't know, 45 bucks uh, online from a hobby store. But this already had the power pole connectors. They did that for me. Also, they programmed in the specific program for this battery so that uh, I don't have to worry about that. You buy this uh, on the shelf, it's not going to have that. Uh, so this is a programmable battery charger. It's got a little port for USB and you plug that in, put it on your computer and you can set up all the little programs. Well, that's what they did. They set up the program for this. They set up the program for some double A's, things like that. Uh, so that's basically my setup to just explain again how it works. You've got the solar panel going into the charger. You've got the Y cable that ties the battery and the radio on the battery side of this charger. This solar panel can put out 21 volts open circuit. You don't want to connect that directly to your radio, even though the radio will create a load and draw the voltage down, it's just not good. You want a battery to buffer that voltage down to normal. Uh, this radio is limited. You don't want to put more than 15 volts. That's what it's rated for. So uh, that battery will help create the load to draw that down. Um, this, the reason I chose the 21 watt panel is because that's, um, I think this radio will use a little over two amps on full power transmit. And uh, so this in full sunlight will put out, what's that gonna be? Uh, like uh, 1.75 amps, something like that. Uh, so this will not power the radio alone. You'll need the battery, but think about your transmit versus receive time. This thing usually is 200 to 250 milliamps on receive. So uh, most of the time in broad sunlight, this thing will be charging the battery. Uh, and then also there's not always a day where it's broad sunlight. So your, your wattage coming from the panel, maybe 15 watts, maybe 12 watts, something like that. So uh, that's why I chose the 21. I didn't figure I needed anything more powerful than that. Um, but I didn't want anything less powerful. So uh, that said, that's my setup. Um, like I said, I have used the double A's. It works great. Everything's all in one package but without an extra charging source or without a whole pack of double A's that you carry extra, which carry enough, maybe two or three changes of double A's that might get to the weight of this guy. Uh, this guy's a five amp hour battery, so it's not quite what a seven amp hour uh, sealed lead acid, lead acid is, but it weighs a lot less than a sealed lead acid. And also it'll hold the voltage higher and uh, it'll, it'll hold a shelf charge for longer than a sealed lead acid. Um, so those are what I use. That's, uh, that's typically it. Um, and, uh, let me know what you think.